Welcome to Rebel Speak. Be encouraged. Today I'm looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, uh, verses like 9 through 9 and 10. But I do not need to write to you about Christian love or brotherly love. And I, I like inclusive language in scripture, but sometimes it can be a little stilted in a way that doesn't convey uh, the intimacy. And, and, and Paul here is saying brotherly love. W women aren't reading. <laughs> They're not reading, um, but he, he's really saying tender love, okay? Tender, familial, relational love, okay? But I don't need to write to you about the Christian love that should be shown amongst God's people. I, I don't need to write to you about this. Why? Because God himself has taught you to love one another. See, the Holy Spirit, just above that, he's talking about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, Christ in you. Right, that hope of glory. You know how to love because Christ loves you so well. That in my journey and experience of Christ's love for me, I am able to tenderly love my brothers and sisters. I am able to tenderly love those around me. My brothers and sisters in Christ, especially. Scripture, Paul asks this of us, to especially love brothers and sisters in Christ. For God himself has taught you to love one another. Indeed, your love is already strong toward all the Christians or all the brothers. It's that familial language. It's, I think it's very important that we hear that well, that we are family, that, that you are dear and near to me. And I take not time for that dearness and nearness to be real. I take time for these relationships. In all of Macedonia, indeed, your love is already strong toward all the brothers in all of Macedonia. Even so, dear brothers and sisters, we beg you to love them more and more. That, that, just, that is what my heart is feeling, that to say, be encouraged. Be encouraged to love more and more. Don't, don't be afraid to love. Don't be afraid with how you divvy up your day and how you divvy up your finances and how you divvy up your time. Don't be afraid to love more and more. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. The Holy Spirit has time for you. God is the God of time. God gets time to work for us. And there's a way that we can get so busy in our, um, in our going-ons that, that we don't love quite as well. That we're here to love one another. That we're here to be the love of God. God to our brothers and sisters before church and after church and in between that, that God is believing that we are loving in a way that the church and the body is growing and if we're not taking the time to do to do the love right if I presume on love if my husband and I presume love on one another it is not good there, there might be seasons when that happens there there might be busy seasons where the the actual state of the relationship carries the intimacy okay but that's that can't go on for forever that that relationships are um, meant to be fed even as the Holy Spirit feeds us right if I'm not spending time with the Holy Spirit I'm not fed I'm not enriched I'm not nearly as strong as when I encounter God throughout my day and here Paul is saying I'm encouraging you to love more and more but he's not just saying I'm encouraging listen we beg you we beg you to love them more and more. There's more there than you know. There's, we beg you, my gosh, we beg you to love them more and more. I, I just, I don't, I never, I just want to say church, let's love one another well. Let's, let's, let's love one another. Paul's begging us. It's, it's so easy. Paul, at many places, speaks about how easy it is to fall short of loving one another well. But God is love, right? And love takes time. And, we, and I want to say this, we love, there's a way that when we love, we love by design. We love by intention. We love by willingness. We love by sacrifice. And so often that sacrifice is a sacrifice of time. I, I want to take time. I want to be with you. I want to grow our relationship. I want to speak the goodness of God into your life. I want to hear about your day. I want my life to speak to your life in a way that makes you feel loved. I want you to know the love of the Father through me. <laughs> I want 
you to know what it, I want you to be loved well as your sister in Christ. I want to do that. And I want to be encouraging us to do that, to acknowledge that as we make time and love one another, the world is changed through those actions, through that honor, through that, that Christ-likeness in us. Love well. <laughs> be encouraged. God bless you.